Hello YouTube, Carmacraft here, and I will be doing my very first Minecraft video. And to start it off, I will be doing a Minecraft 1.6 review, the horse update. As you see, we have a horsey over here. Okay, <coughs> let's get started. First up, I will be showing you a few new blocks added into the game. Uh, first up, we have the horse armor. Now, I couldn't figure out how to craft this, but I'll show you what we do with this after, so I'll just pop it back in there for now. And next we have the a block of gold, a block of iron, all that good stuff. So yeah, so it's the it's crafted the same way as the regular blocks of all. Crafted just like that. The next block we have is the hay bale, and to craft this, it's just like crafting a block of coal and all that, except the only difference is you can't turn it back into wheat after you're done with it. So, so you get a hay bale here, you can't craft it back into wheat. Oh yeah, you use wheat to craft it, I should have probably said that. Now, if you're wondering, why does it say barley instead of wheat? I am using, I live in Australia, so I'm using the um, Australian English text pack, I mean text pack language. So yeah, let's get on to the rest of them. Next up we have the hardened clay, and to get the hardened clay, you just smelt clay in a furnace. It's pretty simple, just that's all you need to do. The next block we have is the stained clay, and to make the stained clay, you put eight hardened clay around the crafting bench on the outside and the colour dye you want for the orange stained clay. Now personally I don't really like the idea of having it as stained clay. Well I don't really like the look of it. It just doesn't look that nice to me. No. As I should have mentioned, yeah, I'm just going to show you guys that this is how you craft it and that I'm not just making a mistake. Let's at least hope I'm not making a mistake, you know. That wouldn't be nice. It wouldn't be nice at all. There you go. That gives you eight. Eight stained clay for the price of one. Next up, we have the horse lead. And to craft the horse lead, you're going to need four string and a slime ball and crafting in that pattern. Sorry for this, um, just going down to major lag. So, let me try and quickly fix it. Anyway, so as I showed earlier, this is how you craft the horse lead. And for it, you, you craft two. And I will show you what we do with these horse leads um, with the horse a bit later. Horse poop. The next item in the game we have is the name tag, and this is used for naming animals, and I will show you what we do with that a bit later. Right now, I will get on to the carpet. So, for, to craft a carpet, you just put the wool in the crafting bench like you would a pressure plate. It's pretty simple. So, that's what the carpet looks like in-game. Personally, I think this looks really cool. It is my fav one of my favourite additions to Minecraft. Finally, we get to the main thing in this update, the horse. Now, to tame the horse, you just right-click on him until you see that he gets love hearts. He will keep trying to kick you off. I will be right back on I have now tamed the horse, and as you see, when I get on him, he will not try to kick me off. Now, to dismount the horse, you press left shift, and you will hop right off. Mm, why isn't why am I hopping off? Oh, there we go. Now we will get to the horse armor. When you are on your horse, you can right click him. Uh, okay, maybe not. But I had to do this guy, just one moment. Uh, you right click him with this? Or? Okay, I'll be right back to try and figure it out. Okay, so all you have to do to bring up the horse inventory is and all you have to do is press E when you're sitting on a horse. And see, you can equip the horse with armor and a saddle. So see, I'll give him this awesome gold horse armor. And just let me get off. He looks pretty awesome. Yeah. Next up, what you can do with the lead is you can right-click him with the lead, and he will like 
just follow you. And what you can do is you can also put it onto like a fence post and he will just stay there, you know, he won't move or anything, he will just stay there and to undo it you just right click the rope and you will drop the rope. Finally we have the name tag. And what you do with this is you just rename it in the amble. Um, and whatever you want his name to be is what you rename it. We should name him Bob Jeff Horsey Boy. Bob Jeffrey Horsey Boy. Yeah. So then the main tag will be named that and all you do is you just right click the horse and then it will be named Bob Jeffrey Horsey Boy. Yep. Also guys, a new thing in the game, um, let me just try and find it. Yeah, it's just when you're in here. Yeah, when you are in the search items thing in the creative thing. When you put your map cursor over a block, it will say where to find it. So if we take the dispenser, for example, it will say redstone. That means it is in the redstone area. Also, with swords, uh, if you look under it, it's like, for an iron sword example, it says plus six attack damage. That's how many hearts it does when no one's wearing armor or anything. Plus four, plus five, plus seven, plus four. Um, I think... Also, with the potion of strength and weakness, it tells you the plus percentage attack damage and the minus. So yeah, I find that really cool that it tells you that now. And yeah, another cool thing is when you're in creative and you have a sword, say you're trying to kill a mob, now you can't break blocks with swords in creative mode. And I find that also a really cool thing because like I've had past experiences like when I'm in easy mode and I'm just like on creative, I don't want mobs spawning in areas I don't want them to spawn in. So yeah, I also find that really cool. And that was Minecraft 1.6 update, my Minecraft 1.6 update review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I did. I enjoyed recording it and finding all the crafting recipes and stuff. So yeah, um, I'm Karma Craft and I will see you all later.